Okay. okay. Yes. So then, for a lot of you guys on the board, you know, I'm sort of the vacuum nut on the board, and always right. talking about vacuum. Um, That's us. <laughs> okay, we got that out of the way. Go ahead. One of the main reasons, you know, as we all know, in, in our uh, IICRC class, is you know, eighty percent of the soil is dry. So when we're trying to remove the soil. I, I think they're lying, but let's go with sixty percent from here on out. Fine. Um, but the most, the majority of the soil is dry. Can be removed. It can be removed by a dry vacuum. By you know, yeah, we're not staying I was just pressing on your book. The CTI guy was fine with it. Yeah, he, yeah, no. Yeah, but he can't show it. He can so. run some slack. Yeah, first time presentation, you know, something. Okay. First okay. Master's You're day. doing fine, Ron. Keep going. Okay, all, the vac all the vacuums aren't alike. As long as now, not here. You can get, if you can't see the soil coming into the vacuum, <laughs> You're not know, you don't know what's coming in. I've been vacuuming since 95. I started using that vacuum over there. Um, and the reason I vacuum so slowly is because I can see the cart, I can see the dirt coming in. A lot of guys talk about the, uh, the truck mount powered ones. Well, they'd be fine if you can see the soil coming in. But you got all that power and you're vacuuming away. You have no idea. Later on, we're going to do a test. I've got that piece of carpet sitting out here. The Genesis went over it very good. Um, for me in a little four foot section. That carpet was loaded with sand and carpet deodorizer mm -hmm. powder. So now what we'll see is what comes out after he's gone over that. The remainder of it, we're gonna run over it with the, uh, the pile lifter and have him do it just like he would a normal one. And then after that, I'm gonna run my vacuum over it and see what's left. Oh, that's and a lot of work. So the clear canister gives you a great advantage to see it. It's also great marketing because then you can show your client what came out of the carpet. Uh, so didn't I have an F? Like, should that not be TMF? They have our bells for a flag. Or <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, or you got one of the things you want to be careful of too. You start using this thing, you're going to slow down. A buddy of mine started cleaning with uh, using that vacuum. He had he asked his what he asked me to tell his wife why he's now taking so much extra time to clean. Thing to watch for, and I've got a second brush in the uh, one later. Check out the brushes that I've got. The brushes will wear down in about six months. So when you're on vacuuming, you want to make sure the brushes are changed for every six months, put a new belt on it, take a new vacuum out of it. Uh, the filters will plug very fast with very fine soil. Anyone who watched, watched yesterday when I vacuumed up the alcohol, 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 the dust that I was getting out was so fine it made talcum powder feel rough. Um, we were too drunk, we didn't see that. It was before you drank something. No excuses. Uh, if you have a bag vacuum, empty the sucker book by the time it's a third to half. By that time, the top of the bag is filled with all the submicron particles, and you've lost oh, all your so airflow anyway. <laughs> and the direction of vacuuming, uh, just take your foot and you go you know, north, north, south, east, west on the carpet. You'll see which way is pulling up that pile. As I'm showing my clients, I say, you know, it's easier sucking, or it's harder sucking the soil out of a carpet when it's laying like this, or if it's laying like this. You know, this is much easier. You stand up, Berber especially. Berber's a real pain to get all the dirt out of. That's because it's big time. Okay, so this one was, uh, oh, I put in a joke here. Yeah. <laughs> we have you come up and read that. I see it from here. Okay. Get up closer. Just really quick, it's a, once upon a time there was a bunch of tiny frogs arranged a running competition. The goal was to reach the top of a very high tower. Speak slower, I can't understand you. <laughs> <laughs> Big crowd gathered around the tower to see the race and cheer the contestants on. In short, the people were saying, it can't be done, it can't be done, and more and more frogs dropped out of the race. Finally, one frog made it to the top, and they interviewed him. What was the frog's name? <laughs> Jeremiah, <laughs> hello. Kermit, Kermit, of course. Oh, okay. they, they interviewed the winning frog after everyone else had quit, and they found out he was deaf. That's the joke. That's the joke. Did he have a cochlear yeah, implant? Everyone was telling everyone to quit. It's a Hallmark book. It's a Hallmark book. They haven't had the money, Bob. Okay, so let's see how that's going to be.
Yeah. 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 <laughs> the bronze level was 60 to 69%, silver, silver 70, 79, 80, gold was 80%. And we can hit bronze easily with a vacuum, you know. So you can remove 60, you know, 60% 60 of that soil is gone before you even truck, turn on your truck, Cymex or whatever unit you're using. So them says, it's all about satisfying, you know, about satisfying customers and creating repeat and referral business. That's what it's all about. But as professionals, we need to go a little bit beyond that. We need to, you know, if we remove the soil, we're going to be cleaning the carpet. We're going to get that repeat and referral business. I got people calling me now because they know I'm more expensive, but they call me because they know I'm going to clean the carpet, not because I'm going to pretend to clean the carpet. Okay, you if you want to read this, that. it's more close. Go on the thread. Uh, this is actually care of name again. Uh, Jerry Lightcap, a.k.a. A a Whisker, on the board. And uh, there's a post on the board called for you non-free vacuum types. And uh, he put on there about resident, uh, on the residential question board from the IICRC, that what are the steps that I need, that I can expect a certified professional to take in cleaning my carpet? The main thing is, the goal of the textile cleaner is to remove any unwanted matter that is foreign to the carpet's construction. So if it isn't supposed to be there, get rid of it. You know, professionals should be using a best rated equipment to remove dry soil and carpets. Textile professionals should be aware of pre-vacuuming sets the whole tone of the job. And I'll let you read through that. Go to the board, go through all this thing. It's put a two-page listing on it. But one of the main things is, as professionals, we should know where the dirt is in the carpet, where to expect it, and then we can tell the client where to vacuum more often. Because most times they have a vacuum that is insi um, it's insufficient Inferior. to do the job. And it's also a bag vacuum. They have no idea what they're going to pull up. So right in front of the kitchen, as they're walking out of the kitchen onto the carpet, those edges, anywhere you see wood, uh, a, a hard surface to a carpet, that edge is always loaded with dirt. At the top of stairs, it's always loaded with dirt. Uh, the hallway to the bathroom is usually the most dirtiest. Um, bedrooms, right beside the beds, you get all the dust off people, all the dead dander, dead skin and all that. White Ew. powder just comes right out of there. Ew. Yeah, it's what we're here for. we got to learn how to get rid of it. Ew. A lot of people say leave it to the homeowner, but they either don't want to know or they don't even they don't have the time to vacuum, they don't have a vacuum capable enough, yeah. or they don't want to vacuum. 